writer Joan Foreman, who's taken us a theme, Haunted Royal Homes. Our tale begins at Blickling Hall in Norfolk. Fifty-one years since Anne Boleyn lost her head within the walls of the Tower of London after being accused of treason by her husband, Henry VIII. May the 19th, 1536 was the date, and not one to be forgotten here at Blickling Hall, where Anne spent many happy childhood memories. For she has a habit of returning to this beautiful building on the anniversary of her execution. Um, several times, I think. Certainly there was one occasion when she was seen, or something was seen, by the lake, by an employee. And he saw this woman wandering down to the lake, wearing a long grey dress and a white mob cap. This was at the time of the new look, so he may have thought it was somebody contemporary. But he wondered why she was there, so he went out to speak to her. And he asked her if he could help her, if she was looking for anything. And her reply was curiously enigmatic. She said, that for which I seek is long since gone. And he must have been a bit put off by this because for a moment he turned away and looked at the house itself. And when he turned back, there was no one there. But who or what had addressed him? He then was certain that what had spoken to him was not of flesh and blood. There's even been reports of a ghost at Sandringham, hasn't there? Yes, uh, there have been reports of several minor ghosts associated with the estate. But there is one in particular that seemed to um, arise after Sandringham was altered. There were some alterations done there a few years ago. And uh, I was told that one of the women guests had awakened a house guest had awakened to see her room fully lit and a small boy came in the door holding a long rod with some kind of device on the end of it and he went round the walls apparently either lighting or snuffing candles at Scone's height and he must have been at some time in that house's past, a page boy employed to do just that. No other ghostly happenings in Blickling Hall? Not that I've experienced, but other people have. Many other people have had various experiences. When the house was used by the Royal Air Force during the war, they put the commanding officer in the West Turret bedroom because it had a nice bathroom attached. And he would only stay in there for one night. He refused to sleep in there again. He said he couldn't get the doors to stay shut, even though they were locked and the locks were all in working order. And this was related to me by his widow, who still comes up to see us even now. And if you want to know these ghostly happenings, Joe Foreman's book is published by Harrop, and it's called Haunted Royal Homes. A 21-year-old...